Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. And today I want to share with you um, something <laughs> something God shared with me again. Um, he kind of did this in a really unique way, piece by piece. He gave me these scriptures, and all of a sudden it was like, wow, that's everything that anybody could be concerned about as far as going to hell. Okay, so um, about say, being saved and staying saved, um, the first, first scripture is look at John 3.16, Luke, John 3.16. Now, a lot of you probably know John 3.16. It's like the first basic scripture every born-again person gets to know. But, did you know what John 3.17 says? Let's read 16. Uh, For God so loved the world, he gave, love gives, he gave his only begotten son, whoever should believe in him, believe in him, not works, not obey the law, but whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting, everlasting, doesn't mean it's going to end tomorrow when you sin, okay, everlasting life. Now, 17, for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world. A lot of Christians that are haters would have you think that God came into the world to condemn you and to condemn you. He didn't even come in the world to he didn't even come into the world to condemn the the sinners of the world. It says, and and a lot of people who hate certain sins and uh, say that certain people are going to hell because they do certain sins. I call them haters. They're certainly not lovers like God. But it says that he sent his son into the world. Sent his son into the world. Okay, for God did not send for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Some people need to get a hold of that. They think that God came into the world to condemn certain groups of people uh, who are doing certain sins because they think those sins are, are more horrible than other sins or something. But God didn't do that. God didn't even come into the world to con condemn the world of all of its sins. He came to condemn them. He came to um, uh, convict them of one sin and that's not believing Jesus. Anyway, okay, so he did not come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Okay, number 18. He, this is the important one I want to get to. He who believes in him is not condemned. Okay, it did not say he who follows the law, he who follows the Ten Commandments, he who does good and, and, and doesn't sin ever, he who's perfect. Because we all, are, we all have sinned, okay? And we're all going to still sin once in a while. Less and less and less as we behold Jesus. But we're still going to mess up. So he who believes in him is not condemned. It doesn't say he who believes in him and follows the law is not condemned. It does not say, him who, he, it does not say he who believes in Jesus and does good things. It does not say he who believes in Jesus... Um, but follows the way of Buddha or some other God. It says, he who believes in him, only thing you need to do is believe in him, is not condemned, okay? So number one, when you believe in Jesus, you're not condemned. Okay, so number one is con con condemned. Okay, number one, condemned. John 3, 36, it says, he who believes in the Son has everlasting life. He who does not believe in the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides in him. You see, when man fell, everyone born after him was in the likeness, and they fell too. And the wrath of God, because the price for our sins is death. death. So we were deserving of death. That's why the wrath of God is on abiding and is on everybody in this world who does not have Jesus in their heart who is not born again. He can't take you out of that wrath until you're born again under God. Because Jesus paid the price and took all of God's wrath on him when he was on the cross. He took all God's judgment, wrath, and condemnation for our sin that we deserved and put it on for a whole lifetime and put it on Jesus. Okay? So, when you're Ask Jesus to come into your heart. You're receiving the gift of Jesus paying for all your sins. Uh, that The wrath of God, the condemnation, and judgment is no longer on you because Jesus took it. And you're born again. Okay, So the wrath of God does not abide on him. So we're talking about 
being condemned, the wrath of God, and then the last one I want to show you is John 5, 24. I love John. The book of John is like one of my favorite books. Uh, is I think it is my favorite book. Um, okay, 5, 24. I think it is 5, 24. Um, okay. But most assuredly, I say to you who... My nose is just... He who hears the word and believes in him, he who hears the word and believes in him who he sent who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment but has passed from death to life so you see when you don't have Jesus in your heart you're dead you have no benefits you have nothing going for you when you ask Jesus into your heart when you receive the free gift well, by asking Jesus into your heart what you're doing is receiving the free gift that Jesus paid for your sins took all the wrath judgment and condemnation on himself that you should have had for your sins and you're born again and you're taken out of that jail and put in righteousness. You're put in Jesus. Okay, so right here it says, those who believe in him, not believe and do works and not do this. The works come as a fruit of grace, as a fruit of believing in him. Okay? Um, we'll have everlasting life and shall not come into judgment. So I'm showing you right there, there's three things that a Christian will never never have and that is they will they will never come into condemnation although the devil tries to shove the law down your throat and make you feel condemned okay the wrath of God will never abide on you although the devil will say that you're not healed because God's trying to teach you something trying to uh, uh, punish you or correct you or discipline you the devil will say that but right there it says the wrath of God will not come on you you will not be punished the wrath of God okay and then the last one is judgment. The devil will say, uh, actually, John, 1 John, I believe it is, the Holy Spirit came to convict the world of sin, of not believing in Jesus, of um, and of judgment, and with the devil, of judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. So the judgment is of the devil. He can no longer is legally allowed to put sin, sickness, death, disease, poverty, lack, and fear on you. Everything that's under the curse, uh, he can't. He's not supposed to do that anymore. You have to enforce that judgment. So you will not come into judgment. Okay, uh, the judgment that says you're, uh, you go on the right side or the left side. You're a goat or a sheep. Uh, sheep uh, go to heaven because they're born again Christians. They're, they're, they have the free gift. The price for their sins been paid for goats because their sin has not been paid for they have to pay the price for their sins so they go to hell um, that kind of judgment you will never come into so I hope I set you free of some things and I hope if you're not saved you get saved because it's so easy I hope you understand salvation a little bit easier um, my name is Robin Bremer and you're watching walks with God and I'm out